MDCT leader Douglas Mwanzora said the main opposition, President Nelson Chamisa, is to blame for the recalling of his members of parliament by Sanjizo Chibangu. Mwanzora said the recalls show that the Chamisa lead movement needs proper corporate governance. He told Sight, It is very clear that there is an absence of corporate governance within the party. I am aware that Chibangu signed for other candidates in this election and people cannot say that they don't know him. What Shibangu is saying there is that let's go back to corporate governance. Let's go back to a party with structures, with officials and not a party which is one-man band. That is the logic not that there is something legal about it. Mwanzora stated that the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC did not submit its constitution to parliament, making it challenging for the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Mudenda, to determine who speaks on behalf of the party. Mwanzora clarified that the speaker cannot judge whether Chibangu has the authority to correspond with him without proper documentation. He also defended Mudenda, stating that the speaker does not have the authority to interfere in political party matters. He added, The law is very clear and apparently this law was drafted in Bulawayo, actually in the Rainbow Hotel 5th floor and the people who drafted it were myself, Jacob Mudenda. Paul Mangwana, the late Megaisa, Edward Mikosi and some lawyer from Bulawayo, Josfit Shuma, we drafted it, and we removed the powers from the speaker to determine things that come from political parties. What must happen is that recalls must be discussed at a political level and when they come to parliament, the parliament has absolutely no discretion. So, I can't tell you whether Chibangu has authority. But the most important thing is that there must be evidence that he has no authority, and that evidence comes from a constitution. Mwanzora claimed that Chamisa's letter to the Speaker of Parliament was an afterthought, implying that it was a late response to the recalls initiated by Chibangu. He stated that Chibangu's actions of recalling individuals from Parliament gave him an advantage because he acted first in the matter. <laughs>